Well, welcome back to the channel, the Rome edition. So I am starting my work here at Rome. Uh, I'll fill you in on some details of how this has gone so far a little later. <laughs> it's not great. Um, but I am here at the Trevi Fountain. It's uh, just starting blue hour. I've got a little bit before sunrise. Just taking a few pictures around. I've got another guy out here with a tripod taking several pictures. I'm trying to stay out of his way. Um, so let me show you what I've got here. This is the fabulous Treve Fountain. Um, it is just maybe a 30 second walk from my hotel room. Uh, but the new travel tripod that I bought and talked about in my last video that I have to re-upload uh, it's still in my suitcase, and my suitcase is in um, Tampa, Florida. So, I'm working on that, but in the meantime, what I have is the platypod, which was in my camera bag, uh, and so I am taking pictures along here. There, there are all of these posts around where I can get different angles, and even the rounded posts back here in the back. Uh, there's one right in the middle of the fountain. It also has a flat spot on it, just built just for the platypod. So I'm just taking a few pictures out here this morning before sunrise. Uh, I'll go back to my hotel in a little while. The bar opens at 7 to get some coffee. Um, I'll get a little something to eat. The Pantheon opens at 8.30, and so that begins my photo walk for the day, uh, which will take me all day. Uh, it's not quite what I had planned, obviously, because I don't have my sling bag. It's in my suitcase, so I can't carry two lenses, so I've got to decide on one. Um, just a number of issues that you know because I don't have my suitcase uh, so anyway this is uh, this is where I'm at so we'll take a few more pictures and see how things are going around here
So we moved from Treve Fountain to the Pantheon. Let me turn the camera around here so you can see where I'm at. This is uh, about 7.30 in the morning, I think. And um, as you can see, there's nobody here. So it's a great time to come out and get some pictures. Now, it doesn't open until 8.30. So I'm going to walk around and find a place to sit and have some coffee. This is one of the many places you can stop to get fresh water. This comes from the uh, aqueduct that runs into Rome, and I think the same aqueduct that feeds Treve Fountain also feeds this fountain. And so you can bring your water bottles here and fill them back up, or uh, just put your hand under there and get a sip, whatever you want to do. Trevi Fountain and I've come to the Pantheon, taken a few pictures already. <clears throat> I'm enjoying another cappuccino. Because you know what they say, one good cappuccino deserves another. Um, I've got a little while before the Pantheon opens and I'm not too far from the altar of the Fatherland, which I may go to from here. And then I've got to stop and look for some clothing because my suitcase, they never show up. And I refuse to wear these clothes one more day. This is, uh, this is day three. So <laughs> we will see what we can do a little later today. Um, because I don't have some of the equipment that I needed, my sling bag, for instance, is in my suitcase and um, my L bracket is in my suitcase couple of the places that I wanted to go to take some sunrise pictures are, are sort of not going to work for me right now because I need to be able to do either portrait mode for pano shots or portrait mode in just simple and I can't do that on the platypod without the L bracket so I'm going to move those toward the end of the week. Uh, the other thing that it has uh, cramp me up on just a little bit is that without the sling bag I can only use one lens. I'm not going to carry a lens around in my hand, set it down every time I want to take a picture. And it was a toss-up. Do I take the 15 to 35 because I think that's really the best lens for inside some of these uh, churches and basilicas that I'll be at or do I take the 28 to 70 to get the longer reach? And I decided on the 28 to 70 so that's what I've got on the camera. I will know a little more about how that works when I get inside Pantheon. Um, and then who knows, my suitcase might show up, you know, today, but I doubt it. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this cappuccino and then get back to taking some pictures.
I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I would be uh, coming back to this image um, at the end of the video and, and I did that for a reason and it's because this is the first time I have ever done this to an image and I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. So this is the picture that I took of the Pantheon. There was a guy here in the front. I didn't bother to try to edit him out. He, he adds sort of a sense of scale as to what's there. So I left him in the picture. Um, but the picture is kind of dull. It's boring. It's, it's, it's not composed very well. And so as a result, um, I came up to this picture. So I've, I've cropped it top and bottom, brought it a little closer in. Uh, and you can see over here on the right hand side, I've done quite a bit of editing, brought the highlights down, the shadows up, set the white point, the black point. Um, and in addition to just a tad of clarity, I added a little bit of dehaze and some texture because these buildings, they just deserve to see the texture. Um, just a tad of vibrance and then uh, I don't think I did anything with luminance. Um, I didn't do any lens corrections or transformations. I did add a little bit of a vignette and then as I do with most of my pictures now I up the saturation of the blue primary because that sort of it, that makes the picture a little brighter and a little more vivid overall. Um, and so that's that's really the basic kind of thing that I did with this image. But I was really bored with it because there was no sky. Uh, I was really hoping for some sky. So I popped that image over into Photoshop and I decided to add a sky. Um, so, and again, I'm, I'm sort of conflicted. I really like this image. Um, this is, you know, if you go into Photoshop and you look at the skies that come with Photoshop, you'll find this one. I didn't go looking hard for anything. Um, and I really like the way that adds to the image. What I don't like is that's not what I saw. And so I'm sort of conflicted. But here I am and uh, I'm, I'm going to keep the image. I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, and I'm not going to re-edit it, uh, but um, I'm not sure how often I will do this. Um, I had some other instances where I didn't have a sky. Let me just show you one here. And so I I took a play I took a play out of Scott Kelby's playbook because he did a travel uh, to Rome photography course in uh, Kelby one. And he took these pictures of sort of the edges of, of buildings to show off, you know, what they are. But then he did away with the sky entirely and just put in a white background there, turned it all black and white, gave it a lot of clarity. And I like that. I like that. So I, I did a few pictures that way as well. But this is the picture that I come back to because I'm not really sure how I feel about it. If you will, and you've watched this far along into the video, leave me a comment in the bottom and tell me what you think.